Exploring South Africa is the bucket list trip of a lifetime with endless beaches, world-class vineyards, and safari adventures. We took a 12-day South Africa tour with the Talk Travel Company. This is not sponsored or anything. We paid for this trip with funds from our pre-retirement days. It went beyond the ordinary with its fantastic travel experiences that included game drives in two of the most sought after private game reserves. We will cover that part of the trip in our next video. But first, we want to share with you the more elegant experiences that the Talk Company had in store for us. We also added an extra week at the beginning of the trip in order to really get a sense of our starting city, Cape Town. Our South Africa tour began at the Cape Grace Hotel. It is perfectly situated right on the waterfront in the heart of the city. Okay, this is our first day in South Africa. We're in Cape Town and we started out by having breakfast at the Cape Grace Hotel, a beautiful buffet breakfast. Uh, they're very well known for that breakfast. Uh, then right afterwards, we just kind of walked around the waterfront. Um, there's all these great shops here. Uh, and there's anyone who knows me knows I'm not into shopping, but there are some amazing shops here. Everything is handmade. Everything has a story behind it. Uh, so we got some really great things. Uh, one was a an alligator uh, handmade wallet, uh, an, uh, an ostrich belt, and uh, there was this cool wall art that's made out of old African jumped cars. Uh, that's going to be really neat to hang out, maybe, hang up maybe in the backyard. Uh, so uh, that's our first um, day so far. I want to show you the background of the V&A waterfront. So back here is our hotel, the Cape Grace. You can see it uh, just right here on the waterfront. It's actually on its own little like pier that juts out into the water. And then of course, framing all of this behind us is uh, Table Mountain, uh, this beautiful mountain that is uh, that this whole city of Cape Town is right underneath and kind of wraps around it. So it's a beautiful environment here. Now we're going to explore the rest of the waterfront. As you can hear, there's some uh, African music playing in the background. Uh, there's also a food market, so we may get a bite to eat or uh, something to drink. Now we're in the food hall at uh, the v &A Market, which we saw other people vlog on, so it's cool to be here where we've actually seen other people do it. We just saw this amazing Thai pizza that you wouldn't believe. They have all of this coffee and chocolate and tea and all this other stuff, so we'll probably be back here. There's a wine place up front too, so we're gonna get that in a minute. But it's neat to be here, we're having a great time. Okay, we just finished up shopping and now we're outside. The sun is amazing. It's beautiful. It's a little cool. But it's perfect. As we waited for the official tour activities to begin, we did our own additional sightseeing around the region. Hi everybody, we've ventured outside of the Cape Town Central Business District and we're over at uh, Camps Bay, which is this gorgeous seaside kind of area, uh, about a five or ten kilometers outside of uh, central uh, Cape Town. Uh, it's kind of known as the Miami of Cape Town because it's uh, kind of Miami Beach because of the, the beach and all of the cafes and everything down this particular street. But it has certainly more stunning views. You can see Lion's Head, uh, the mountain at the top here, and then just this amazing surf uh, that's hitting up against the rocks. So uh, we'll try to enjoy today. The anticipation was over and the tour kicked off with a cable car ride to the top of Table Mountain. So we woke up very early this morning with our fingers crossed, hoping that the weather would cooperate. Uh, so that we could take the cable car up to Cable Mountain, uh, Table Mountain, and it all worked out. It's a beautiful day, after all, the clouds are gone. And as you can see, we're here at the top with uh, Cape Town at the base of the mountain, and 
lion's head. I think you can see it right there. And way in the background is Robben Island. That's the place where Nelson Mandela was held for many years of his life. In fact, our uh, tour company had a very special uh, uh, guest uh, for us this morning. It was the former prison guard of Nelson Mandela. Uh, way back when, the prison guard was uh, something like 21 years old, just out of his uh, required time in the military, and uh, spent time guarding Nelson Mandela for several years there and became a friend. And then after uh, Mandela became president, uh, uh, this guy uh, was uh, serving on his cabinet for a while. So that was very special to hear some of those stories from way back when. Uh, and very sobering too. But right now, we're at the top of Cable Mountain and enjoying this amazing scenery and biodiversity. We also enjoyed a walking tour of Kirstenbosch Gardens. These are the National Botanical Gardens on the eastern slope of Table Mountain. They highlight the unique plant life of Southern Africa. That evening, we took a drive to Constancia in the Cape Winelands for a memorable dinner paired with local wine. Today we're at the Cape of Good Hope, the tip of the African continent where two oceans meet, the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. Um, on the drive here, we just passed a couple of ostriches who were grazing next to the beach. Uh, and I think we're going to see some baboons and some other wildlife here uh, before we're headed out tomorrow for safari. So stay tuned. It was about a 20 minute walk up, but it was worth it. We're at the top of the cliff overlooking the Cape of Good Hope uh, at the lighthouse. And I just wanted to show you this in the background. There is this amazing beach down at the Cape of Good Hope. It looks like just the most idyllic spot. I think I want to remember that one for a while. House on top of Cape of Good Hope, an absolute necessity uh, for the tip of South Africa, all the way back to the early Portuguese when they were exploring and discovering this part of the world. Uh, lots of maritime disasters. Oh, I have to mention, on the way uh, here, uh, we spotted uh, several eland. Eland are kind of very large antelope uh, type animals uh, that were grazing and they were actually pretty close which uh, apparently is pretty amazing. At the end of the day we met up with some rambunctious African penguins. In our next video, we take you along for our week of safaris in the African bush. Watch this video to see what's next on our adventures and check out our customizable merchandise store. See you soon!